Hi, I'm Alana. And I'm Bradley, and we're doing it down under. Follow us as we drive around Australia. We're just leaving Mackay now, on our way to Younger National Park. We're just coming to town to get some supplies from the shops before we head out for a few days. Um, so it's probably going to take us about two hours to get there. We've just been driving past sugarcane farms with the sugarcane trains. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? You feel okay? Feel better. That's good. Better than yesterday. I haven't had a tablet yet. Tablet. We're going exploring. It's pretty cool here. So we're going to go see what else there is to find. But first, we're going to pay. And. I wanted to say that it's very important we pay. Pay. Because yeah. otherwise, you're not going to get any cheap camping. Because they'll just shut it down. But, hold on. Okay, it's $5 per person, or if there's two of you, it's $8. Or if there's a family, like two adults and two kids, it's $15. I think that's the cheapest we've paid so far that's for camping. And some people just rock up at night time and leave in the morning and don't pay. Like even national parks, it's like six dollars thirty each a night. Mm. It's ridiculous. So if you're travelling around Australia, pay. I mean, she looks friendly and stuff, but you never know. So, we nearly got chased by a cow. We would have said, well, we might have, we don't know. I think I just a friendly cow. Yeah. But we decided to observe from afar, and we found some cows on the other side of the lake. Over here. And there's a little one swimming. They followed us to our camp. Look at that one. He's like right in our camp. Then there's another one over here which looks a bit younger. But this is Brad's method of protection. I don't really know what it's going to do if a cow charges at you. That one over near our camp is big. Look how fat it is. Mm -hmm. 
licking your neck. Yum. I wonder who made this. It looks a bit dodgy. Oh god. That is atrocious. The top looks okay. Coming from a rope scale, but that there's no way I would put my body weight on that. That maybe. Check out this cow. They're swimming again. breakfast on the fire today because we ran out of gas again so we're gonna have fire meals for all of our meals we wanted to use the campfire for cooking so hey we wanted to just use the campfire for cooking and not use gas hmm. it's it's boiling. all right for us a cup of baby Here. Be careful, it's hotter than stove water. Is it? No. I was going to say, how do you figure that boiling boiling, mate? Nearly <laughs> <laughs> got you. I'm smart. Don't try and mess with me. Mm -mm. So for breakfast, this is my plate. We've got some hash browns and tomatoes and some beans. And then Bradley's gonna have like an epic pile of bread and hash browns and eggs and beans. We'll share.
So we can only find one platypus. We, or I, both of us had no idea that they were, had like active times and then non-active times. So come at the wrong time, but that's okay. There's one there. So they come up to eat. They chew their food and then they go back down to get more food. Platypuses are cool. Mm -hmm. They were so small yeah. though. They were like yeah, cool. as big as your hat. Like as long as your hat. I thought yeah. they were going to be huge. Like. Of gas, which means we need a lot of firewood. So it's my turn to light the fire tonight, and I just stacked up my little pyramid. And look, it's starting itself. If I told you so, moments because Bradley thought that the only way to start a fire. Right? It was like a little hexagon. I didn't say that was but, that no, that's what he did. He told me my way was wrong. But, now... I don't see any fire. I see smoke. It, no, it's starting. But now all he does is pyramids because I was right and you were wrong. The other way works too. Nah, this way works better. You just need a oh, big... Nah, I'm better. Mine's better. I got left alone for like five minutes, not even, and my pyramid turned into a flat. Um, my flames are too big and I burnt my hand. <laughs> well, I am so excited for some wedges and some garlic veggies, which I'll do on the grill. And then I got my little burger patties in here. And Bradley is having burgers with some onion and tomato. You excited for dinner? Yeah. Burger and chips. Lovely. Wish I had some bread. How pretty is the sunset? How epic is our fire? I love Brad's bit of wood he got.
<laughs> That's going in. <laughs> That's gonna stay. Which beach are we going to though? Uh, one way to first. Alright. Last. Yesterday we drove around for like half an hour trying to get to the beach and we went to the wrong spot like three times. to the beach we wanted to go to, from the beach we got to, and I was like, 